Hi, Dave here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Mixter E9 noise cancellation headphones. Let's go and check it out. Just before we get into the review, I just want to make a disclaimer that Mixter reached out to me to ask me to review their E9 headphones. I said yes, and I do get to keep the headphones afterwards, but all the opinions are my own, I'm not influenced in any way, so I will tell you the pros and the cons. So here we have the box, uh, you can see it's the E9 model instead of the E7, and if you check on Amazon it's $54.99, which is a pretty reasonable price, which is why we're checking it. And if we look on the side, we've got all the gubbins, active noise cancellation, around 30 hours playtime, drivers, and then... Wide and wireless connection, you can plug in your jack to jack if your battery runs out and then you carry a case as well. And if you look on the back, you've got lots of different languages, but on the English, the main things to really note is a 33 foot outdoor, 49 foot indoor and the 30 hour without ANC playback, which is really cool. And the 24 hour with active noise cancellation on. So if we open it up, we've got the nice case inside it's a vinyl-y soft hard case if that makes sense and if we have a look at inside we've got the headphones which look really nice we've got the packet there uh, we've got a micro usb to usb a there for charging we also have the trrs 3.5 mil we also have an aeroplane adapter there as well then we've got a smiley face everyone likes a smiley face uh, that's just gubbins about the warranty and thank you for your purchase. Then the booklet that no one reads but you should read, it's the user manual. It tells you how to get started. And let's push them to one side and if we look here, we've got the case. It's nicely held in place with that um, elastic strap. So if we have a look at these, um, you give it a twist. Uh, I didn't hear any creaks or cracks or anything which is a good sign. They feel pretty nice especially for the price. And if we do stretch there, again, I didn't hear anything. No creaks and cracks for that. And on the side, we can pull it out and you've got some numbers on there as well. Unless you've got a wonky head, you can match them up. If you have a look down the actual headphone, the actual outer ear is like this um, scratchy, like vinyl-y effect, which is quite nice, actually. It does scratch a little easy, but it's not too bad. Then we've got the active noise cancellation, the headphone socket there. And over on the right hand side we've got the volume up and down but also doubles up as skipping your songs back and forth and then the micro usb port and if we turn them over we've got the on and off switch which is also the press and answer the call and we also had the light indicator and microphone if we have a look at the pads they're actually really nice um, nice and soft not too bad at all um they're soft enough for me i get some problems with um, headaches when i wear lots of different headphones and stuff so and I've worn these for three days and actually they're pretty good. So it's, yeah, I was really quite chuffed with that. So I am here in London at the moment and uh, just wanted to test out the internal mic for the headphones. I've been using it on the train, which seems pretty good. And on the tube, yeah, the um, noise cancellation is pretty good. Remember, for the price, this is pretty good. The um, headphones are really comfy. A uh, little bit sweaty when you're walking, but then that might just be me. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm recording the audio onto uh, through the uh, wireless go, so you can hear the difference. And obviously, I'm recording it into the app, so I'll then flick and uh, change the um, audio so you can hear the difference but it's light breezy a little bit breezier than light I'm by a main road as well um, so it'll be interesting to see the noise different bus that's gone by um, there's music playing in the background in the coffee shop that I'm, I'm sitting outside of so yeah we'll just wait and see but this is the audio from the wireless go and I'll just click again this is the audio from the Headphones. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm going to have my coffee in a bit. So I've tested the mic, we've unboxed them, but how do they actually sound? Well, to be honest, not too bad. Again, for the price, they're pretty good. Um, we've got a nice low end. The mids and tops are a little bit muffled for my liking. 
Um, but I was watching a lot of Netflix on the tube with noise going on and people and um, screams and shouts and stuff as you do. And I could still hear everything pretty well. I don't expect too much for fifty four ninety nine. So actually, I was pleasantly surprised. But if you're looking for something that is crisp and clear like you would do for, say, your DT250s and stuff, then obviously you're not going to find that here but then you won't find that until you get up to the top range anyway so actually for the sound for the music yeah not too bad at all so all in all i think the headphones are actually really good for the price 54.99 for active noise cancellation is really really good now i have been lucky enough to try the sony 3000 mx i think they're called and they're extremely good but they are over 300 pounds and you can't really compare them because you can buy six of these for one pair of them. But for the price, I think these are really nice. They do scratch a little easy. We do have some scratches from where, I don't know if you can see this. And you just have to be careful when you take your headphones off to turn the noise cancellation off first. Otherwise you do get a bit of a squeak in your ear. Apart from that, I'm really quite happy with them. And I keep going on about the price, but the price is important. $54.99 for nearly 30 hours of battery life for me commuting to London and back and on the tube and noisy areas. Yeah, definitely really, really satisfied with them. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.